So when they lost, Hillary Clinton and her people and guys like Adam Shifty Schiff, Watermelon Head. Watermelon Head, he's a water perfect. He's a watermelon head. But no dummy. But think of this. Think how bad they are. Think how evil they are. You're all fathers and your mothers and your children of great people and all of the people are represented here. Think how bad they are. They make up a story that's false. It's now been admitted to be false. The FBI is the last one to tell us that. But it's now admitted, even in the newspapers, even by the people back there, they will not fight it. They make up. Now, think of this. But think of this. So they make up a story about Russia. Just so you know, I was tougher in Russia than any president by four. I'm the one that stopped Nord Stream 2, the pipeline. I'm the one that did the big sanctions. And I guarantee you one thing, Putin was not going into Ukraine. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you. Nobody was tougher than me, but I also got along with them. And that's a good thing. You know, getting along with other countries is a good thing, not a bad thing. But think of it. So they make up a story, Russia, Russia, Russia. It was made up so that when they lost, they could say, it was Russia. I'm saying, what the hell did Russia have to do with it? It was Russia. Okay, so Adam Schiff knows it's a fake story. He made it up with other people. They know it's a fake. And I see Adam Schiff go solemnly to the microphones in the Capitol building and stand there so sad and say, Donald Trump Jr. will be going to prison because of what he did with Russia. Now, think of it. He knows the story's a scam. He knows the story's a fake. And he wants my son, who's a good kid, he wants my son to go to prison over something that they made up, that they know is a phony story, and has now been, as they say, fully debunked. In other words, it was a totally... And he's standing before microphones with many of those people standing there, and they can't get enough saying that my son is going to prison. And I then call my son. I say, Don, are you okay? What's going on? What's going on? Think of this if you're a parent. Think of it. My son's going to prison on something that they made, which is a total hoax. These are bad people. They're trying to destroy our country. And we can't let it go on any longer because we have too much work to do.